Hello Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your tarot and oracle reading for the week of October 30th to November 5th, 2023. First card out for you is conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse, and the full moon eclipse is happening literally the day before this week starts on Sunday the 29th, I believe. And so, wow, its energy will really be hitting you hard. Oh my gosh, conclusions are within reach. You will have the answers that you need. The answers you've been waiting for is definitely coming through this week or even this weekend prior to this week. So that is awesome. We also have impatience coming through. I've been feeling a lot of impatience within the collective, honestly, at this time. Like it just feels like we all have our our breath held and we're just waiting for something big to happen, both positive and negative. Like globally, like I feel like something big is gonna happen this week, honestly, or like around this time um, in the world, like huge history changing events. Um, it's crazy. Don't, don't watch Cancer's reading because that was scary. Um, <laughs> we talked about that a lot there. Um, but like, I also feel like in a positive sense as well, like in your personal life, like you're just waiting for some answers about some things. Uh, maybe you applied places or applied for something or you're like waiting for some clarity about the future of like certain relationships or with like what you're doing in life. And um, yeah, this says my life is unfolding in divine timing. All delays are beneficial. I'm always at the right place at the right time. I've been noticing that message from the universe a lot this time around too, like around this time. Um, I keep getting the message in a lot of my readings and like everywhere, uh, this message of all delays are beneficial. If there is something here that you don't have the answer on just yet, or you're like waiting, there's a reason for that. And trust that there's a reason for that and use your time um, very wisely as you're sort of, I guess, waiting impatiently. Instead of being in this energy of impatience, keep yourself busy with things that you know will benefit your life and you, so. You'll get the answers you need either this weekend before this week or during this week for sure. Um, the major arcana card coming out for you, Wheel of Fortune, exactly. Um, this is a sudden, spontaneous change of circumstance and events um, that's very unpredictable. But when it's upright like this, it's going to be very positive. So a positive shift in the Wheel of Fortune. And I, I definitely feel that it's a fortunate card. It's really great for money. It's really great for love. It's great for everything. You know, there's a positive change taking place in your life at this time. Woo, this is going to be a very powerful week for Pisces. I can already tell that. Like out of all the signs so far, you're the last sign I'm filming. And out of all the signs I've done, like right off the bat, your energy feels really, really strong right now. I don't know why. Like, I feel like this will be a very significant week for you this year. So we're gonna get six cards out from the Rider Waite deck, two rows of three. First card out for you, two of cups reverse, my gosh. This card has been coming out reverse for a lot of people. I mean, we're in Scorpio season. Scorpio season is the season of breaking up, let me tell you. It's the season of breaking up and getting with like a new relationship. Oh my gosh, At year after year, I see people letting go of relationships this time. Like end of October, beginning of November, I swear. Um, and also getting into new relationships. And I was literally just telling Scorpio, whatever ends, whatever relationship ends during Scorpio season, I just know right away it's never coming back. And on the flip side, any relationship or friendship that begins during Scorpio season, it's here to stay for many, many years. I feel that very strongly here. And you're starting off your reading with the Two of Cups reverse, which is honestly like a separation uh, card here and especially right underneath that full moon eclipse which is a huge time of endings like yeah there's some sort of ending with you and another person for sure i'm seeing that um second card out page of swords in reverse you know it might be because uh, one or both of you were just like, mm, I don't know, not super mature when it came to communicating. This person may also have an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They don't have to though. And it just feels like they weren't giving you enough like answers, you know? You were very impatient here. Uh, it felt very delayed. Um, like the direction was lacking, you know, they kept you very vague or like they, mm, how do I put it? Like the communication just wasn't there. I, I don't know how to describe it. 
Third card out is the three of pentacles. We're seeing appreciation from your workplace or whatever the heck you do. Even if you just like um, are like a stay at home mom or dad, like we're seeing a lot of appreciation for that this week. Um, we're seeing people really acknowledging what you put in, what you do, even like your artistry, your talent. If you have any hobby or like artistic skill, it's really being appreciated this week, which is awesome. Second row out, fourth card is the star, wow. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I feel like there is a dream coming true this week. Like not to sound dramatic, but I feel like something you wanna manifest, a dream of yours is literally coming down into the earth this week. It's being born this week, okay? Wow. Mm. Fifth card out, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Really interesting. The Ace of Pentacles has been coming out for a lot of uh, signs too this week. And um, again, I just feel like there was a commitment or communication that you were like waiting for, waiting for, waiting for, and it just never came through. Or this could even be an offer. Like maybe you were waiting to hear back from a job or waiting for someone that you're dating to like, you know, ask you out or like waiting for a proposal or something. And it again, it just feels like waiting, 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 impatient delays, lack of direction, lack of communication, very vague uh, with like them talking about like where they see the future going. And, you know, it can cause relationship issues. It can call you to, it could cause you to literally want to pull back your energy and become uninterested. I've been feeling this very strongly for a lot of signs, actually becoming a lot more uninterested in people who keep you in the energy of waiting. You know, like you kept me waiting for too long. I'm not interested anymore. I feel it very strongly for so many people. And I see that in the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. It's like this offer should have materialized by now or, you know, money should have materialized by now. I'm gonna do something else. You know, I'm not gonna wait anymore. I'm gonna do something else. And it's actually from you taking action and doing something else that beautiful fortune begins to pour in for you. You know, if there's any situation in your life where you keep giving, 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 and it's not giving back, um, you know, change what you're giving to, you know, uh, change it up, pour into something else, see if it returns your energy. And if it does keep doing it, you know, that's all life is about really. Um, or at least that's how I think about it. Cause I have a Capricorn moon and everything's a business transaction in my mind. Um, yeah, I don't know. Final card out. Wow. 10 of pentacles in reverse right next to the ace of pentacles in reverse. It's funny because Scorpio had these same two cards, but both of them were upright and now you have them and they're in reverse. I do wonder, um, if you have any Scorpios in your life um, and if they're seemingly like the opposite of you right now, like they may be making a ton of money, successful in their career for barely doing anything. And then you might feel like you work so hard and you get no money, you know? So it, it might be something like that. I'm not sure here, but I do, it's weird. I see a lot of popularity around you this week. Um, people really like seeing you for who you are and what you have to offer. Uh, in particular, there may be one or two people from your past where this is a situation where like they had to lose it to realize what they had in the first place and it's like well <laughs> don't know what to tell you too little too late um but i'm more so seeing this in an artistic and professional sense people really uh like you're being talked about in rooms that you don't even know exist yet like people wanting to work with you people wanting to uh see where you go uh with your image or with your career or uh, with what you do, if you do something artistic that you share. So definitely put your artistic um, talents out there for the world to see. I highly recommend doing it. Don't be afraid to show off and really like market yourself right now because you're being, you're very popular this week. And um, I definitely see socially, this is a good week as well. People are saying like, you know, I just love everything you offer Pisces. Like, I just wanna spend more time with you, blah, blah, blah. Invitations out, all that good stuff, uh, which is really cool. Uh, Ace of Pentacles reversed, 10 of Pentacles reversed. I really feel like, some, <laughs> this might be weird, but I feel like some of you are actually starting a side hustle or your own business or like selling your artistic craft in some way um, and trying to pull away from your traditional job that's more stable and long-term. Um, so I am seeing that for some of you. Uh, if you have your own business or freelancing thing at all, I feel like this is a powerful week for you to really be seen uh, or get started, get your work out there, uh, definitely. Um, 
but you have to be patient with it and and really take the time to grow it and put a lot of quality work into it so this reading honestly feels all over the place pisces wow all over the place but i love that you had the wheel of fortune come out and i love that you had the full moon eclipse conclusions are within reach i feel like the answers and clarity that you need when it comes to your future is popping up this week you may even get an idea that will be something that will last you a lifetime like you may get a business idea this week um some of you may get a business idea and you're like you know what, what if i took action on that like let's just see let's just play see where it goes and then that can end up being like something that turns you into a multi-millionaire you never know it's something like that like i said this week feels very very significant um and it's tied to your destiny and fame even and like very big success and popularity so there's either some sort of popularity coming in um the numbers are increasing or it's like an idea for something that will make you famous yes i said the word famous will make you famous <laughs> in your field, in your craft uh, later on uh, down the line. But yeah, it has to do with a natural skill of yours too. Like you have a natural skill that I feel like you'll be famous or very well known for, like a master at. And it feels very much like you're sort of mm, controlling your own destiny with this path. So like I said, many of you may be getting an idea for like your own business, your own thing and taking action on it or if you already have that you'll see a lot of growth this week for sure um but this is all happening after <laughs> uh some separation energy and uh there may even be a little bit of financial difficulties um because you know it is a risk to start your own business it is a risk to do your own thing um or some of you may be out of work right now for some reason i'm seeing as well interesting or like you were just like waiting for more money a promotion waiting for a commitment from someone um and you know you may be unhappy either in like work or in your relationship your family and home life and it's like you know what like what if i change the what if i turn the wheels of fortune what if i leave this all behind and start something totally new so you're you're a little crazy this week i like it <laughs> i like it this is like life-changing ideas um type of energy i'm feeling so thank you guys for joining me pisces watch for your sun moon rising and venus signs to get the fullest overview of this week ahead like this video comment how it resonated down below and subscribe to the channel if you have not already if you want a personal reading with me one-on-one -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box spiritpsychic.org i also offer my goddess energy intention oil there and my spiritual life coaching sessions there so check it out Bye bye